the, the universal, this is a universal flag. It's freedom, justice, equality, Islam. And when you look at the flag, we have the red on here that symbolizes the sun. And everything up under the sun is free. You know, we don't have to pay for the life that the sun gives us. Is that right? That's right. So our God represents the universe. Right. We have a universal God that everything that he touches, he put it in motion to be free, you know, and, and equality. And you also have the sun, the star. We have a moon in there, which is which means the equal. You know, we want to have equality on this planet. And the stars, the star on there represent not only one star, it represents all the stars in the universe. You know, because as you look at us, as long as the sun is shining, you don't ever see the stars. You don't ever see the stars. And when the sun leaves away, then you, you'll see the stars and the stars guide you by the night. Is that right? So when we come into the nation of Islam, it don't make a difference if you're a man or a woman. And, and God gives us what the minister Louis Farrakhan gives us. You become a star. And you're a star. You'll guide people in a dark time. Right now, we're in a dark time. Yes, so there's a bunch of stars in here that I see. I see a bunch of stars. You know, you can look around. I see a star right here. I see a star here. I see a star in the back. I see a star sitting back over there. You know, we are stars. So that's what the, the flag represents. Freedom, justice, equality, is wrong. And uh, I, I don't want to you know, belabor or, or keep on going a little longer, but this next brother that's coming up, you know, just thinking about the words that's going to come out of his mouth gives me goosebumps. Because this brother right here, he's a brother that's been in the nation since in the 90s. When, when he came into the nation, I, I was with him. And he came in there, and ever since we came in, all he wanted to do was go to work. You know, the brother, brother that I'm talking about, all he wants to do is go to work. He sets an example for me. You know, every time I see him, he's cheerful. The brother has the word of God inside of him. So I just would like for you to please give uh, all of your attention to the brother that I bring up. Uh, this is uh, like a very well brother. I'm pretty sure he's going to put a smile on your face. So when you get on, you got to put your, your seat buckle on. You got to sit back and put your mind on and focus at the word that's coming out this brother's mouth. Because he's going to light us up in here. I guarantee you. And when you leave, I just need to know that everybody got the word of God. You know, we want the word of God to be passed to you, to be passed to me, to pass to everybody that's in there. Because this is a family. Is that right? So with no further ado, I'd like to bring before you our beloved brother. He, not only is, a, is he our beloved brother, he's my big brother. When I say my big brother, that's... That's my father's son. You know, that's my brother. And then I love him just like a brother, and I also love him like a brother. You know? I love the brothers like a brother. But this brother David right here, I'm talking about Brother David Muhammad. You know, this brother right here is a father's brother. So please give your warm up. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. As you see on the screen, this is my subject for today. The subject that I am going to be talking about is the sure truth. Truth to set you free. Now as you look at that title, you might not know what it means unless you've been reading the Holy Quran. Or if you're a true believer in God, we know the sure truth is something that cannot be disputed. That's right. As I said, I like to always open in the name of God, and we say it in Arabic, Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, we give Him praise. We give him thanks for his many blessings and his service to the human family of the planet Earth for the revelations that he has sent down through his many prophets, messengers, and servants. We'd like to thank him for Moses and the Torah. We'd like to thank him for Jesus and the Gospel. We'd like to thank him for Muhammad and the Holy Quran. As you know, God sends prophets and messengers into the world when the world becomes in trouble. And if we look around today, 
Can you not see that the world is in trouble? So this guy has sent another to come into the world to save the world. That's right. And the people that live in it. And those people that I'm talking about are you and me. That's right. And the Lord said, Surely I have seen the affliction of my people who are in America <laughs> and have heard their cries from their taskmaster. Master. For I am aware of their sufferings. So I, God himself, saying I, come down to deliver them from the hands of of their slave masters. We find that scripture in Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. But he has had to leave, as the scripture said in Matthew 24, verse 27, just as lightning comes from the east that's right. and flashes unto the west, that's right. That's right. so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. That's right. That's right. But it was not time yet for his judgment. That's right. Come on. The one I am talking about is Master Farad Muhammad. Yes, sir. God in person. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. This God I am talking about is a man. That's right. For if we read the scriptures, it always gives a description of a man. For as you know, he walked with Moses. That's right. Come on now. He talked with Noah. That's right. Yes, sir. He talked with men. And if you read the scripture, he also talked with Abraham. Right. For Abraham seen God walking down the road. That's right. Facts. Yeah. So he has legs. So how can God be other than a man? That's why I'm talking about the sure truth. Because most of us think God to be a spirit. Something that floats around in the earth. But most of us, if we ever seen a spirit come to us in our room in the dark, most of us would run. <laughs> because we would be afraid. Because it is unnatural. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. But God does have a spirit. But that spirit that he has is what dwells in him that gives him life. Just like you have a spirit right. that gives you life. So when the spirit leaves your body, you cease to exist. He's dead, man. As the brother said, you are dead. Uh, but as I said, he had to leave. But before he left, he said, Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. We also find that in the Bible in Malachi 4, verse 5. Who is this Elijah who God said he would send? Yes, sir. He also said that Elijah would go before him. Come on now. Yeah. Before he came to judge the world. He said he goes in spirit and power. And turns the heart of the fathers to the children. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the Lord. To make ready a people for the Lord. So in our present conditions. We are not ready to meet the Lord. Go ahead. That's right. Because we are so filthy and Go ahead. sinful. That God cannot look upon us. Uh, but he knows yeah. that we are here. That's right. Because he came to save us. Yes, sir. But this man, Elijah, is special. For God was ready to cast judgment on the earth. But Elijah said, give me a chance. And I'll help them. So God, being the God who he is of mercy, he said, go ahead, brother. I'll let you get them if they'll follow you. That's right. Come on. Elijah didn't say that he would get just some of us. He said, he said I'm going to get all of them. Yes, sir. So when you see black men and black women, God's going to get them all. Because he said, when you look at a black man and a black woman, 
You're looking at God. Come on, right. say that. Right. So yes, when I true. look into the crowd, I see all the gods that God said who you are. Mm -hmm. So don't shorten yourself. Come on, right. Right. Because yeah. you are children right. of God. That's right. 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 I want you to believe that. Because this is the sure yeah. truth. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. This is a message that was given to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Come on now. Right. Teach. He also said, I should go before them in spirit and power and turn the hearts of the father to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the Lord and make ready and prepare the people for the Lord. That's in Luke 1, 17. He also said that I would raise one, that I would be raised from the midst of a people of your brethren. Come on now, make sense. And speak the words that God commanded them to speak. That's Deuteronomy 18.15 and 18.22. The man I am talking about is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Right. Right. The exalted Christ. The messenger of God. The eternal leader of the nation of Islam. But it still wasn't time. Come on, come on. Come on. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. So God said that he was going to take Elijah into heaven by the whirlwind. Mm, but before he left, he said this in the scriptures. Now all of you have read it, but you didn't know who was saying it. This man was the one that was prophesied to say these things and make these happen, things happen. And this one I'm talking about has the sure truth. And the truth to set you free. Come on, come on now. And as I said, it came to pass that he would take Elijah up into the whirlwind. But Elijah said, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. And when he comes, he will reprove. Reprove meaning speak angrily or seriously to them because they have in a wrong or foolish way the world of sin and righteousness and judging I must teach. He must teach. Yes, the sir. person that Elijah is talking about. And as I say all of that, those three holy men that I am talking about, I'd like to greet all of you in the greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language of As-Salam Alaikum. And as you hear those greetings, I'm telling you, I wish you peace. That's right. Because we need peace in yes, this sir. world that we're living in today. Not only do I need peace, as Brother Derek said, the sun that shines up on all the people of the earth, they need peace also. Yes. Because God is a man of peace. That's right. But he's also a God of judgment and war. Yes, sir. So let's not get it twisted. God is nice. Come on now. Yes, but God is a destroyer also. Yes, sir. Say that. 99 attributes. And that takes me into my subject. In our Savior has arrived. The Savior I'm talking about is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he says on page one, to know the truth of the presence of God, of truth, and that his presence is the salvation of the lost found people of America, is to know your life and happiness. Mm. Truth is in favor of you and me. For the truth of our enemy, whom we have been serving here, in the USA for over 400 years, whom we did not know to be our enemies by nature. Mm -hmm. you know Is the truth that the black man must have knowledge of to be able to keep from falling into the deceiving traps that are being laid by our enemies to catch us in their way, which is opposed to the way of righteousness of whom we are all members. Yes, sir. Mm. 
the arch deceiver. We are warned through the Bible and Holy Quran to shun this deceiver. Yes. If we are members of the black nation, the righteous, yes. there is nothing that is left of the truth of these people that God has not made manifested. Nothing. And I am teaching you daily of this people. There are some black people who will, after knowledge, sympathize with the arch deceiver, the devil, That's right. for the sake of advantages. Yes, sir. The Bible foretold of these kind of talk against the truth that would come in the last day. In the Holy Quran, the 96th chapter called the sure truth is warning the people in a time of the resurrection of the mentally dead of what happened in history of former people who were doomed to destruction and how they reached, reacted to the truth and warning and how they call the truth of their approaching doom a lie. Hmm. Come on now. There's some facts. Yes, sir. <laughs> approaching doom. Bear with me for a second. Take your time, yes, brother. Sir, brother. Take your time. Take may ask. As we see up here, truth is true or actual state of a matter. Conformity with the facts of reality. A verified or undisputable fact. Proposition principles or the likes. Actuality or actual existence, an obvious or expected fact. That is what truth is. Yes, sir. My subject said the sure truth. Sure truth. Yes, sir. As I read my note that I was just giving, <laughs> I just have to back up Come on. just a little bit. Come on now. That's all right. For Jesus said that the comforter would come. Yes. <clears throat> and that comforter I'm talking about is the Honorable Minister Louis Farmer. Yes, yes, Come on now. Yes, Come on, sir. Sir. He is the comforter. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. He is the sure truth. Yes, sir. And if you look at my word sure, <laughs> free from doubt or reality. Right, right, right. That's right. Character, action, etc. Come on now. Of something. Confident as of something expected. It is certain, beyond question, con convinced, no doubt or without question. Come on. So when we're talking about the truth, this is what truth should look like. That's right. That is the definition of truth and the sure truth. The truth that the black must must have is knowledge. Yes, sir. And to be able to keep from falling into the deceptive traps of the devil. Come on. Now we might not ask who the devil is. Uh, 
Most of us think that he's a spirit. Wake this up. That lives in the middle of the earth. Come Wake on. this up. Yes, in fire or in hell. <laughs> it has horns and a pitchfork. But that is not the real description of a devil. Because as I said in the beginning, we are men. And so the devil must also be a man. That's right. But we have to know who this devil is. Come on. That's right. Yes, sir. This devil, as the scripture says, are people in high places. That's right. And they have a spirituality to do wicked. Right now. Go ahead. And if I tell you who these people are, you might call me racist. <laughs> because these people who I am talking about are the Caucasian Come on. white men or Yakuz get yeah. right the yeah. devil, right. the skunk of the planet Earth. Right. Right. Why do I call him a skunk? Yes. Because everywhere a skunk goes, they it seeks up the earth. Right. Yes. And oh, yeah. everywhere that white people have being they have stunk up the earth. That's right. Go ahead. They have changed cultures That's right. and taken people from their own land. Come on. Wherever they go, if they go to the Middle East, they cause confusion and war right. amongst those people. That's right. Go ahead. And then say they come in the name of peace. That's right. See, these are the devils. I know. Talk. Come on with it. These devils travel the earth. And these devils come in all kinds. Yes. Right. Some of them might be Russian. Yes, sir. Some of them might be Australian. And some of them might even live in the East and America. Go ahead. Come on now. Because we have devils here. Yes. And some of them might be black. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't right. change yeah. your ways. You are a devil and you follow your father, the devil. devil. That's right. But well, we are the children of Israel. That's right. Why do I say children of Israel? Because we are the children of step people, of white people. Go ahead. Because they have reared us here and taught us their way. Oh, that's, that's right. So now, in the scripture, it talked about God wrestling with an angel. Yes, Come on, say that. And when he wrestled with that angel, his name was Jacob. But after he wrestled so much with the devil, and God got a little tired, not that God... The, the original God, but one of the God scientists. Yeah, that's right. Not the So Adam is the first man that was created of the white man. Come on. Uh -huh. See, we think Adam to be a people. That's right. I mean a man. But no, Adam is a people that's right. that was created by our scientists. For God said, let us make, make man. man. No. In our image and our likeness. See, they're just like us. They're not us. Because we're gods. Praise me to the Lord. Go ahead, brother. Beautiful teaching, brother. That's right. Take your time, brother. In the Bible. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we have a scripture in Timothy 4, 3 and 4. For it says, the time will come when they will not endure sound teaching. That's right. Come on but wanting to hear, have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desires mm -hmm. and will, and turn their ears from the truth, and will turn aside to myths. Yes, Woo. come on. Serve, sit. No, no, no. Teach, brother. To endure means to uh, to hold out, to bear, to tolerate, to support adverse forces or influences of any kind. Doctrine, a particular principle, position, or policy taught as of a religion or government. Something that is taught. A body or system of teaching related to a particular subject. Theory or belief. Accumulate, to gather or collect. A steady increase, amount or something. Myth, a traditional or legendary story, usually concerning some, some being or a hero or an event without a determined basis or fact. 
and an inventable story, an idea or a concept, an imaginary or fictional thing or person, mm. an unproven or false collective belief that is used to justify social organizations, a social society, or particular causes or programs. So as we see this scripture, it talks about to endure a certain doctrine. Now we've been taught that Jesus is God. Come on now. I hope that I don't offend, offend any of you, but I hate to say that Jesus always told us that my Father sent me. Come on now. Yeah, that's right. Speak None true. is good but my Father. Father. Come on now. And when I leave, I go away to, to my, my Father. father. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So how can Jesus right. be God good when teaching. he always good talked teaching. about good going home go and ahead. doing the will right. of his Father? Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Jesus. We sure do. Yeah. Yeah. I follow yes, Jesus. Right. But I know who Jesus is. Yeah, right. And today I want to let you know the sure truth and the truth that will set you free. Come on now. The yes, truth on. is that the honorable minister Farrakhan is Jesus. Yes, Come on now. Yes, In our midst. I say that. Go ahead. And jump it up. I say that with my chest poked out mm -hmm. and my voice loud to say that this man is fulfilling everything that was prophesied of Come Jesus that he would do in the scripture. Yes. Right. For he's making the blind see. That's right. He made me see. Right. He makes the dumb uh, speak. That's right. Yes, he's sir. making me speak. Come on now. Come on. And he makes the blind see the truth that we have been hidden from us for over 400 years. That's right. And so this man is waking up and teaching things that was prophesied to come that is new. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead. As we know, people will not tolerate anything that their mind conceives to be true. Some of us have children-like understanding of things because that's what our parents told us when we were children, even though they did not have proof. Things like the tooth fairy. Come on, talk about Put your teeth under a pillow, and the tooth fairy will come without waking you up and leave you some money. You also have Santa Claus. A white man in a red suit Go ahead. who is big and fat that flies around the world on a sleigh with flying reindeers and he will deliver all of us presents and come through a chimney that he can't fit. Go ahead. See these myths that we are talking about that we teach our children we have to stop it. That's right. Yeah. right. Because people take it into account, and our children hear this, and we lie to our yeah. children, and we wonder why they lie to us. Come on, right now. Say that. Because we taught them how to lie. Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You know, this day that they talk about Christmas, they say that they represent Jesus Christ, and it's his birthday. But if you ever look at the commercials and on TV, do you ever see Jesus? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you see a store called Macy's. Yeah, come on, Macy's. Yeah, and yeah. J.C. Penney's. Come on, and Sears and Target. And some of us even shop at Walmart. <laughs> and they have us buy his dogs to deceive us of the truth of who Jesus really was. It's not the day of the resurrection of the Christ because the resurrection has not really happened yet. The resurrection is happening because you and I are being resurrected. We're coming into the knowledge of God. And when you come into the knowledge of God, you're being resurrected from the dead. Teach brother. Good teacher. Some of us like to have our ears tickled. 
Mm -hmm. Like when we die, we're going to heaven. Ooh. We're going to be where there's pearly gates, streets of gold, Ooh, streets. flying in the sky, <laughs> flying around with wings. And everybody that died, we're going to see them there. And it's been 2,000 years that people have been dying. Where are we going to fit all these people on this planet Earth? Where are we all going to live? That's right. That's right. See, that's another myth that we have been taught. But if you come to the Nation of Islam and listen to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, he will teach you of these things. That is the one who I am up here trying to represent. Come on. Because everything that I'm saying, I have learned from him and out of those books given to his messenger. Yes, sir. So if I make a mistake, please put that on me. Because Elijah doesn't make a mistake. Come on now. One right. mistake. See, our kind See, don't make a mistake. That's right. And the teachings that they teach us are not mistakes. That's right. For yes. everything that we say can be proven with a little bit of study. That's it. See, some of us tell them, told us that we was cursed. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not cursed. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm blessed. As brother right. said, we are blessed because God came for us. That's right. Mm -hmm. That is a blessing. Yes, yes sir. God yes. traveled the earth yes. and he looked for those people that were despised and rejected, mm -hmm. locked in a country for 400 years yes, sir. and made to serve a people. Yes, sir. He said that those people would come out with great substance and they would return to their Lord. That's right. Now, how many of you would like to be walking Come on around now. and know the real God mm -hmm. and see Him yeah. physically, mm -hmm. not spiritually, mm -hmm. physically? I'm waiting for that day. Come on now. That's right. If you listen to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he said that he would turn the hearts of the children back to the Father and that we would live to be a ripe old age. Mm -hmm. And in that ripe old age, he would make all of us young. Yeah. Back to the age when that. we were 16. Think on that. Just a wonder you being 16 Come again. On now. <laughs> and when you die, you'll still look the same. <laughs> it's only that yes, sir. you have been living so long that maybe it's time for you to take a rest. Yeah. Uh, that's all. So that is what God promised us. And we're moving towards that slowly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is here. God sends prophets and messengers to guide the people when they go wrong. As you know in the scripture, everyone in those times always denied the messengers, the prophets, and the men of God. Because they came to them telling them something different than what they were doing. And just like today, we deny the message that is coming from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he told us that God came in person in the form of a man. That's right. But as I know, this Honorable Elijah Muhammad only went to the fourth grade. Yes, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. He taught him to interpret. Bear with me, I lost my place there. <laughs> he taught him to interpret the Bible so that we could not, so that we could understand it and would not be snared by the falsehoods that are in it. He called this book the poison book. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not saying my Bible is not holy. Uh -huh. Because there's lots of holiness in that Bible. Uh -huh. And there's lots of truth. Yes, but as we know, the Bible has been revised Come on. Come on. and tampered with. Yes, sir. And scriptures being taken out and scriptures being put in. Mm -hmm. wow. See, one of the main scriptures that they like to tell you is if a man steals your cloak, give him your other one. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. Now, how does that look <laughs> to a man that already doesn't have anything? Come on, Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, see, that is something that I won't agree with. No, 
sir. Because if you take my cloak, I'm going to fight with you to save my other. <laughs> he sent uh, him to interpret so that we would understand it and not be fair by the falsehoods in it. He told us that he talked to God face to face. Now how many people you know talk to God face to face? But the scripture said that he would talk to Elijah and he took Elijah up into heaven unto himself. So Elijah is talking to God face to face. And when he told us he had this wisdom and this knowledge, he got it from God. So there is nothing that can change it from being the sure truth. That's right. Yes, sir. Now, there are some of us who look on the internet to get wisdom. Not that the internet doesn't have wisdom, but we go on YouTube and Twitter and all these different types of sites. And because they're saying something according to our desires, and they sound smart, and saying anything to get likes. That's right. Some of these people have not even studied, but we take their wisdom to be true. Yes, sir. Because we are a foolish people. Go ahead, sir. And led in the wrong direction, just like sheep. Right, that's right. And if you really study some of these people that are on the internet, and you start to analyze their truth, you'll find out that a lot of it is falsehood. That's right, sir. And lies and bits of the truth yeah. to make you believe that it is the truth. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when somebody comes to tell them that you have a uh, proof, they seem to go and hide. But the people that were listening to them, they turned their ears away from the truth because none of us like to be told that we're wrong. Mm. That's right. We are a little, all of us are a little conceited. Mm. And we all want to be right. That's ego. Nobody wants to be wrong. Even if we know it's a lie and we found that we were telling that lie, we'll stick with it. <laughs> and we'll try to make the people that we know believe it. Come on. That's what the honorable minister Farrakhan said, that these people can make a good man look bad and a bad man look good. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, this is the devil <laughs> and his right. tricks. Yes. He's here to deceive the righteous and take us to hell with him. That's right. He knows that's where you He knows that God came from us and he's taken us to heaven. But as he said, I will have caused all of them to fall. Yes, and God said, all of them that follow you and fall, I will fill hell with them all. Yes, and as some people were walking by hell, they asked hell a question. Ah. And he said, hell, are you filled up? And you know what hell said? Are there any more? <laughs> That's right. Hell is waiting for the disbeliever and the wicked. So we as black people have to, have to change our way, our thinking, because we have to have a new reno uh, renewing of our mind. That's right. And that renewing is the wisdom that is being, being given to us by the man of God. Come on now. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad and his Servant, the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. That's right. The teachings of the Honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad taught to us by the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan is that America is under judgment because of her evils done to black men and women in America. Did you think that this people who done this to us would not have to pay for killing and murdering us yeah. mm. every day mm. and up to this day. Mm. As the scriptures tell us, after 400 years, 
God would deliver us. The Honorable Minister Farrakhan is the one crying in the wilderness, telling us to turn to God and who our enemy is. Everything that he says can't be proven. But they call him anti-Semitic. Because they can't prove what he say is a lie. They make the world to hate him because he tells the truth. And people of power and with money don't want to lose their statuses, so they also lie on him because they want to, as I said, make a good man look bad. Come on now, Jesus said the children of the devil would do that, and he points out the people. And because some of us get favor from these people, we side with the enemy. Oh, I have another scripture up here. I made it a little too big for the screen. <laughs> but just bear with me. Yes, you can sir. read uh, most, of, most of it. In 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 9, it says, But mark this, there will be a terrible time in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves. Now, how many of us know people that love themselves? <laughs> I do. I'm not going to lie. I love myself. So I have to... Okay. Bear witness to the truth. But the way I'm saying, they love themselves more than they love people. And they don't care what happens to other people. Yes, sir. He says they will be lovers of money. We all do that. They will be boastful, proud, and abusive. Disobedient to their parents. I'm looking at you children. <laughs> no, I was there too. I was once a child too. <laughs> so don't take it that I'm pointing you out. I'm also pointing my safe self out. And God is my father, and I'm still disobedient to my father. But I'm trying to change from my wicked ways. That's right. He said that they would be ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control. Now, how many do we know of our people are without self-control? Sometimes when I get angry, I'm without self-control. And when I'm on the streets... I see a lot of people without self-control. Right. Get on the 15 bus yes. uh. and see all the people on that bus. <laughs> Go to your job and see how people talk about each other. People are abusive right. and unforgiving and slanderous. Now how many of us go behind closed doors and talk about people? Talk about the shoes they wear? Or talk about their husband? Or what they don't have? There's all kind of things that we slander people about. And some of that slander is there because we're jealous. Maybe that person has something that we want. So we slander them. And these are the things that are in this scripture. They said well, uh, uh, they would be brutal, mm. not lovers of good. Mm. Now, how many of our people are not lovers of good? Mm. There's a lot of us. When you tell them, don't smoke weed. <laughs> and they say, this is good for me. God made it. Yeah. Go ahead. See, they're lying to themselves. Uh. Anything that alters your mind is not good for you. That's right. Now, if you put it in a CD, D oil, and you rub it on you, or you take it, and you're not getting high, it's good for you. Just like cocaine is good for you. Huh? But not when you snort it. 
Mm. <laughs> right, right. Go ahead. When you get shot or you get wounded, they use cocaine to help the pain so that you're not in pain so much. So cocaine has a good use, but we take it as sport and play. Abuse. I'm just going to move a little faster because my time is short. He said that they would be treacherous, treacherous, rash. Conceited lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of goodness and denying its powers. Denying it. Denying its power. Having nothing to do with them. They are the kind who worm their way into the houses and gain control over weak women. Who are loaded down with sin. So how many men you know live with women today? Mm. Because the women have been given a place to say, a stay because of their circumstances. We're not going to say sir, we're going to okay. say uh -oh. their <laughs> government <laughs> assistance. <laughs> and most women have the better jobs. Oh, so the women are guiding our society. Right, that's right. <laughs> And we are following behind women when men should be the leaders. Yes, sir, right? But because the devil has deceived us and switched our places, now men are like bees. I didn't say a word, I said bees. Because some of us are so soft. Come on. And we don't want to do what's right. Yes, sir. And we don't want to take control of our households. Come on. And be the leader. Because most of these women shouldn't even be working. True that. How many of the men want to take care of their woman so they, they can rear our children so that they grow up into the mind of God and not let YouTube mm. and the TV mm. and their friends who are doing wicked guide them? This is what this world has come to. <laughs> but as you know, it's time for me to go. Already? <laughs> my sheep, come on, hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. That's right. I want all of you to take this scripture home with you so when you hear the voice of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, you will know that he is calling you and you must follow him. So with that, come on, I did not get to the sure truth and the truth that would make us free. That is the sure truth. Bro. Because there is a scripture in the Holy Quran, the 69th uh, chapter, that talks about the sure truth and what is the sure truth and what would make thee realize what the sure truth is. This right here is the sure truth. Go ahead. So with that, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out and listening. I hope I said something that you can take home or to some of your family members or someone that you know because I'm not here to entertain. That's right. Even though I do like, you know, <laughs> Come on. a little bit of it. But I'm here for truth. Yes, sir. And I want to make our people better. And so with that, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out. Uh -huh. And I greet all of you as I came before you in the greeting words of peace of As-Salamu Alaikum. Well, <laughs> Cocaine is 
not good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right. Um, even she said it is the cocoa plant yes, that the curl cane comes from yeah. that we use that is good for you. So please forgive me. I don't want anybody to start using cocaine. They say that brother down here at the farm told me cocaine was good for me. No, I'm correcting that right now. So with that, I'd like to ask him, uh, all of you. It's your brother Herman Supreme style Muhammad. Just wanted to drop in and let you know what we have going on. In addition to our community work um, that we've been doing for years, and in addition to being the sole proprietor of Supreme Style Barbershop, where we've been serving the community for close to 25 years, now we've partnered up um, with an insurance company called Ethos in an effort to help our people uh, with life insurance that's something that we all need i know it's something that we don't want to think about but it is something that we all need if we want to leave anything to our loved ones when we leave this space so do me a favor click on the link or go to our website astar2.com and click on the ethos page we'll see you on the other side